Today, I want to talk to you about being brave. Have you ever seen a suit of armor that a knight or a warrior wears? I've had several occasions to be in a museum where they had a grand exhibit set up of these full suits of armor. And even with no one inside them, it can be a little intimidating. They're often set up holding weapons or up on a model horse who's also wearing armor to protect them, but also to strike fear into the heart of the opponent with exaggerated features. So I'd like to take a moment this morning for us to imagine that we are brave and bold warriors. Would you join me in putting on some armor? So first, we're gonna fasten on, uh, on our feet some armor. So put something on your feet, something that would protect them. Probably make a grand clanking noise with each step that you take. Next, right onto your legs, fasten on shiny metal protectors on the bottoms of your legs and on your thighs. If you've never seen armor, think of, um, the Tin Man from The Wizard of Oz, that's another good way to think of it. Next, we're gonna have to put on a shirt that's made entirely of chain metal. So it's really heavy from wherever you pick it up. Imagine how heavy it is. We put it on and put over our heads and we put the chain metal on our arms, very heavy, and on our other arm. And next, we need a very fancy, uh, plate that goes over our chest. It's going to protect our heart and our organs. So imagine as you put it on that it's protecting all of those soft places, but also that it is dazzling. It is engraved with the most amazing design you can imagine. Right over there. Next, we need a helmet. So get your helmet, also very heavy. And place it up over your head. And next, the, the um, face covering that comes down. Yes. Now, friends, into the reach. Do you know the best thing about pretend armor? You can just shake it off. <sighs> I want to acknowledge that even without a full set of armor, you are brave. During the past year and a half, you have had to rapidly adapt to changing routines. You've had to navigate the world with new dangers and obstacles. You've learned new technologies, new ways of interacting with people. And in some ways it was easier when everyone just retreated into their homes. Now schools and businesses are reopening and some people are getting vaccinated. I hope that you will be vaccinated when you become eligible. Even though shots can be scary, vaccines are a proven way to protect us. And I am so happy that now Everyone who is 12 and older is just become eligible. I was with the youth group last night at a meetup and a whole bunch of them just got their first shots. And we promise to be mindful of those of you who are 12 and younger who are not eligible yet. And maybe some of us who are immunocompromised or who may never be able to be vaccinated. We care about your well being too. These times require us to be brave as we become more social. We will need to listen carefully to each other and to be mindful of our own needs. And this is hard emotional work being brave. So I want to remind us of three ways that we can access reserves of courage
that are much easier than putting on a full suit of armor. One, taking deep breaths. Two, sharing our feelings. Three, asking for help. It takes bravery to keep growing, to keep learning, to keep loving. And I am so glad to be on this journey with all of you. Let's join in singing along with Beth.